hello guys good evening welcome everyone and uh, i hope that i am live and you can hear me properly also just let me know in the chat that you can hear me properly we are meeting up long time uh, almost uh, maybe after a month or something like that but i think everything is cool now hello guys yep everything is cool and uh, we are going to start so i was thinking like i should uh, start live streaming once again but i was a little bit confused like what i should start with mm -hmm. so finally i thought like uh, maybe i can uh, start with a series of videos because some of you guys uh, were telling me that uh, start with some uh, series so i decided to start with the attacking in chess series so here we'll be discussing about some of the important uh, sacrifices or something like that kunal has joined here good to see you kunal okay good to see you here guys whoever is there don't forget to like the stream because uh, the more you like we will be having more viewers also okay and uh, keep it uh, active in the chat uh, because today it will be uh, i'll be showing you some of the games where uh, lascus double bishop sacrifice uh, this is a very famous thing i'll be showing you some examples and we'll be starting with the uh, emmanuel lascus games also which software you use to edit videos well uh, uh, I don't edit that much, <laughs> but uh, sometimes I edit. So OBS uh, uh, sometimes I use, but that is not for the editing, but for going live stream. <laughs> there is a better software is also there. That software is called as Camtasia. Sometimes I use that software, but uh, yes, Tina, after long time, after a lot of uh, days, you can say, but uh, this is a series so we'll be having regular sessions about uh, attacking chess so guys uh, what do you think like have you ever heard about uh, lascus double bishop sacrifice tell me honestly have you ever heard about it and uh, i hope that you can hear me properly if there is any problem with the voice or something before we start let me know because uh, that's also very important <laughs> So guys, uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know that everything is cool and we are good to go ahead. I think uh, we can go ahead. Uh, so the point of uh, today's stream is uh, to share some of the interesting ideas related to the middle game and that too when we are attacking. Okay what no what exactly no you are saying will not be able to follow as exams are nearer but we'll watch it later thanks thanks tina thanks thanks for joining for a while it's always a pleasure to have you here okay <laughs> chalo then we will be looking at so point of uh, making this um, series of videos is like uh, sharing about uh, some of the important sacrifices okay how to dap preparation do please uh usper b video now i did not understand how to do i think i think you are saying how to do preparation acha acha theek hai theek hai we will figure it out we'll figure it out so uh coming back to the topic uh today's stream will be related to some topics and uh, it will be a series of videos guys so you can be assured that i will be coming live more often ashish has joined here hello yes ashish so aaj ek kaam karenge hum uh, i'll be asking you questions and you tell me the like uh, i'll be waiting for your moves also here okay i'll be waiting for your moves and i'll be coming to a position and then uh, we will go further okay chalo to lascus double bishop sacrifice uh, was famous became famous after this game this game was played in amsterdam for the people who don't know about uh, emmanuel lasker he was the second world chess champion guys and uh, one very fascinating thing about him is like uh, he had the tenure of 27 years as a world chess champion which until now nobody has broken okay so he lost his world championship match in 1921 so uske 27 years you can think Yes, Sandesh has also joined. So, 27 years uske pehle, he won the World Chess Championship match against the first World Chess Champion, William Stennis. <laughs> okay. So, 
uh, this game was a very interesting game and it started with f4 we'll be starting with this i'll be showing you uh, what are the double bishop sacrifices we know that the uh, thing that uh, you know first sacrifice captures on h7 that is one thing that that is greek give sacrifice we'll be having that video also very soon means live stream about that but today we'll be having a little bit more dynamic okay so let's go further yeah so d4 uh, f4 d5 then uh, e3 uh, knight f6 i'll be explaining each and every move to you b3 see basically this f4 move is played indirectly to control the center in the opening phase it's very important to control the center plus uh, rapid development of your pieces and the third most important factor is the king safety okay we all know these things about the opening so we will not be focusing on that thing but uh, there are many times like we have these questions ki, like opening me kya kare opening uh, ye opening me kya kare wo opening me kya kare the, otherwise you have some opening traps in your mind but uh, i guys i'll tell you one thing that uh, agar aapne opening me teen principle ko follow kiya that uh, just controlling the center fir jitne jaldi ho sake utne jaldi pieces bahar lao game me lao aur fir king ko save karne ke liye castle kar doge to aap koi opening trap me jaldi phasoge nahi you will be quite fine in those situations so that is the best way you can play in any opening so don't be afraid of any opening traps or anything in my whole life uh, i'm playing chess since many years you can say 20 years okay almost and uh, i have never got into the opening trap that much uh, you can say uh, just because i was following the opening principles okay so if you are uh, agree with me just uh, tell me in the chat and one more thing is also there don't forget to like the stream guys because your one like will be a good support and people will also understand something if this stream reaches to more people then they will also learn something about the chess that is my humble uh, try here to spread whatever i know about chess and love for the chess also because because of this the games also i fell in love with the chess you can say like i love the way uh, players of past played chess some romantic chess you can say sacrifices and everything so we'll be going through the all classics also step by step that's what i have planned okay so just be there with me so b3 khela yahan pe okay so after b3 black plays e6 move e6 ke baad bishop b2 now obviously white is putting pressure on this diagonal pay attention to this thing okay anant has anant joshi has done yes yes anant good to see you here then black plays bishop e7 then white comes with not knight of knight of 3 is uh, purely a normal move here in this position but first he plays bishop to d3 this also okay because lasker has some plan in his mind like he is uh, from the start only he is pointing towards the black king side you can say here in this position so black also thought like okay white is developing the bishops why not i develop the bishop so my first question for you from this game is like what will you play in this position to develop the bishop on c8 where will you develop it Will you develop it on d7 square or will you play b6 and bishop b7? Tell me your opinion. I'll wait for your uh, answer here. Tell me about your opinion and then we will be going further also. Okay, I'm waiting, okay? And uh, just to let you know, like, uh, here we can develop the bishop anyway. <laughs> it's all about the choice. But uh, what do you think? Which is a better try? Which is a better place for the bishop? just let me know okay and uh, okay some of you might be thinking like uh, maybe castling is also one of the options here definitely castling is there but uh, b7 okay being gaming is saying like uh, bishop b7 and that's what uh, emmanuel lasker's opponent john uh, also thought like he thought like my bishop should be there on the b7 square that's why he played b6 in this position and now lasker developed his knight to c3 square obviously he cannot develop the knight to d2 square or any other square developing the knight towards the center of the board is always a good idea so guys one more thing i want to tell you like uh, where to develop the pieces you might be getting some confusion or something like that sometimes like uh, uh, when it comes to bishop knight and the rook there is a thumb rule kind of a thing okay so very good yahan pe bishop uh, om gada is saying like bishop b7 for the c5 breakthrough very good om gada and kunal is saying bishop d7 and uh, ashish is suggesting bishop to b7 well bishop d7 i feel like it's not that much cool okay kyunki yahan pe koi aapko future nahi hai but on b7 you definitely have some future if this diagonal opens up so you should always place your bishops on the open diagonal or 
on the diagonal where it might be a little bit uh, miss in the future it will be opened up so you can say uh, future open diagonal okay <laughs> Okay, so bishop b7 was played. So I was talking about the bishop, knight and the rook. So pay attention to this thing like knight should be developed towards the center. Okay, why center make you karna chahiye knight? Can anybody tell me why knight should be developed towards the center? Chalo, one more question. See, today we will be going very slowly. There is no rush or anything. So just uh, be there and be more interactive. I love that thing because we are going to have these sessions quite regularly now. Yes, Kunal, thank you for uh, suggesting people to like the stream. Yes, guys, uh, you can definitely like the stream. <laughs> if you if you like chess, then definitely you can like the stream. Chalo, knight ko center mein kyu leke jana chahiye? There is a quite obvious reason is there that if the knight is centrally placed, then it covers some more number of squares to control central squares. Yeah, central squares is there. But if the knight is there in the center of the board, then it controls eight squares. That is the basic thing. Let's suppose the knight is there on e5 square. Okay, so knight will be covering eight squares in that case. And uh, then it is uh, sorry, then it becomes like the octopus knight, they say. Okay. Here, the knight attacks uh, maximum squares in the center. Exactly. Ran Ranjit is also saying it can control four squares. Not four squares. I will say like knight controls eight squares if it's there in the center of the board. You can check it out here. I am making the squares highlighted here. And it becomes like the octopus knight when it comes to the center of the board. Because knight always, uh, being gaming is like because knight always fought on d5 and that's why. Okay, cool. Knight can control seven squares in center. Well, eight squares, guys. Thoda ek kam mat karo. <laughs> Thikai? So, that is the main reason. So, that's why you should uh, try to develop your knights towards the center. And if you can get a square for the knight in the center of the board, that is the best thing you can do. Okay? And when it comes to the rooks, obviously, rooks should be developed on uh, open files. Okay? So, Lasker played knight 2 f3. He is bringing the piece in the game and also getting ready for the castle. Abhi black played knight bd7, then he castled, opponent also castled. Now what to do? Chalo, ab batao mujhe kya khiloge. So guys, uh, your moves are welcome here. Okay, you can guess the moves from the white side. I'll be always asking you moves from the white side because Lasker is the one who is playing from the white side. And uh, we are going to learn something new. I'm waiting for your answers here see what i have talked about uh, don't forget that thing that you need to uh, bring all your pieces in the game that is one thing but you should make the room for your pieces also knight e5 okay omgada is saying knight e5 kunal is suggesting knight e5 definitely knight e5 is uh, one of the options in this position there is no doubt about this move knight e5 can be played but if you play knight e5, you know, one thing can happen that uh, your opponent can capture on e5 and after d into e5, knight can go to maybe e4 square and uh, your bishops are getting blocked somehow because you don't have f3 move to dislodge this knight and uh, your bishops are not having open diagonal. So we need to see what your opponent is going to play because we want open diagonals in this position. So knight g5 is also one of the suggestions in this position by uh, being gaming. Oh, yeah. Knight g5 is also there, but I think I can just play h6 and kick this knight away. This is also one of the moves which is a possibility in this position. Or if I don't want to play on that side of the board, black can even go for something like uh, maybe c5 with the idea of playing uh, c4. Deco, this position may knight e5 is actually a good idea, but uh, knight will be captured by knight and we need to capture with the bishop, with the pawn. So, this jaga, agar bishop se mat mar sakte ho e5 pe, then it will be much more better. Don't you think so? It will be much more better if you can capture with the bishop on e5. So, that's why Emmanuel Lasker first played knight e2 with the idea of placing the knight on e5 on the next move. Matlab, baad mein unko e5 khelna hai, but not exactly right now. And some of you might be thinking that knight e2 ke baad queen ki jo, like, so diagonal, like queen ka jo diagonal, that will be blocked. 
So the thing is that the knight can always move. Okay, it's not like a pawn which is stuck at one position. The knights or the pieces can always move around. Parag has joined. Good to see you, Parag. <laughs> Guys, whoever new is there, don't forget to like the stream because uh, we are streaming after long time. And uh, if you like the stream, then our uh, uh, reach will be more and people will also learn something new about the chess and uh, it will definitely I will try my best to uh, share my knowledge with you today okay so night e2 and if you encourage me I will come uh, quite often on stream my plan is to come live uh, live every single day till uh, 8th of uh, April because on 8th of April I had uh, started my channel one year back so we will be completing one year. So I want to live stream till that time from 1st of March to 8th of April continuously. <laughs> okay. So we will have fun every single day in this last month of the first year. We'll be having happy birthday together. <laughs> Chalo. So C5 was played by his opponent. And now to bring the queen in the game also and also the knight should be placed towards the side wherever you are going to attack he played knight g3 now knight h5 is one of the ideas which can always be played okay so that is one thing or a cheese they go when we are attacking today's topic of discussion we are attacking chess and when we, whenever we are going to attack we should understand this thing that on the chessboard okay on the chessboard all your pieces are like the friends right they are friends uh, to each other and when we are going to party, attack is like the party and pieces are like the friends. So, <laughs> yes, Shubankar, thanks. Thank you very much. So, I was talking about, when you attack, you have to party. And party is not like that. And the pieces are like your friends. So, we should bring or you should call all the pieces for the party or you can say bring all the friends for the party. Okay? Uh, you can even uh, create those kind of names also. I don't mind. Like, here uh, is a party. Ho rahi hai. So the attack is going on and the pieces are just going to come there. We should just keep on doing this thing. One more thing is there that uh, it is said. Yeah, it is said that uh, it should at least have three pieces to attack. Whenever you want to attack, at least you should have three pieces. Ek ya do piece attack karna bahut mushkil hota hai. You should not go for that thing. You should at least have three pieces. Okay. So white is bringing his pieces on the king side because he wants to attack on that side of the board. Okay, black played queen c7. Now tell me what will you play? Which move will you play here? Let's see whether you can get this move because you are already talking about this move a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah, elegant OP is saying analogy OP. <laughs> That's a fun part. Yeah. Chalo, batao. Thodi der pehle aapne ye move batayi thi mujhe. Knight G5 nahi. Aapne koi aur ek move thi mujhe. I was talking about uh, centralizing the knight. Yes, Ranjit, uh, you are absolutely right about this thing. Uh, we should place the knight in the center of the board by playing knight E5. Because in this position, mein usne knight se knight agar maar diya, Kunal, you are also right about this thing. Bang on target. If he captures on E5, we don't need to capture with the pawn and block our bishop. Agar pawn se maar to bishop block hoga. So we don't need to do that thing. We can simply capture with the bishop. That is the advantage in this position. Yes, Udbhav, you are also right about this thing. Knight should be placed in the center of the board. Because if black ne nahi maarta, I suppose. Let's suppose black doesn't capture. Still, our knight is very well placed in the center of the board. Don't you agree with me? You should be agreeing, right? <laughs> Chalo. So black uh, had some options in this position to just uh, develop the piece in the game by rook a c8. That was like the being patient in the position. Okay? And uh, that's what you should do. When you don't have anything great in the position, you should try to just bring the new piece in the game. Even if you are attacking, when, whenever you are defending, doesn't matter. You should just have your pieces over there, wherever you want to play. Okay. So, but black was uh, kind of a player like he was annoyed or a little bit. Uh, he felt like, okay, I should capture the knight in the center of the board because it's a very strong piece. So he captured knight into e5, then white played bishop into e5. Okay, so queen c6 was played by black. His obviously his idea is to play d4 and uh, queen g2 check and mate. So here white played queen e2, just bringing the queen a little bit one square up. And after queen e2, one thing is happening, the rooks are also connected. So when you need rook, you can come to the game in the game. 
like the books can come rook f3 or rook f1 the books can come in the game ठीक है so white is already preparing for all these things तो यहाँ पे black ने एक move खेला a6 which is not really good move so I want to tell you a simple thing on the chessboard when we are attacking always pay attention to two things okay in attacking chess one thing is like attackers are there from one side and other side there will be defenders so how to identify which are the attackers in the position so whichever pieces are doing a good job or they are exerting some pressure we can say that they are like the attacking pieces or if i want to give you the example of the football so in football kya hota hai ki ek side ke paas matlab dono side ke paas defenders hote hain but the strikers are also there strikers will always try to score a goal and defenders will always try to stop the opponent's team from scoring the goal so same way when we are attacking we should pay attention to opponent's uh, defenders opponent ke defender ko aapne eliminate kar diya to aapka attack karne ka matlab possibility not only the attack but the possibility of getting your attack into a successful attack will be much more higher theek hai to is position mein can you tell me one thing like which are the attackers from the white side and which are the defenders from the black side let's see whether you can uh, tell me this thing i'm waiting for your answer okay you can tell me uh, slowly and gradually i'll give you some time don't worry about it okay Which are the attackers from the white side and which are the defenders from the black side? क्योंकि हम attack कर रहे हैं इस side में तो attackers तो बहुत easily आपको मिल जाएंगे I hope so. We are attacking on the king. So let's see whether you can get this one. And uh, guys, don't forget to like the stream also if you are new here. आज uh, we are streaming after long time. At least we should have hundred uh, likes today. ठीक है white side both bishop is bishops are good and black side best defender is the knight exactly being gaming you are absolutely right these uh, two bishops are the attacking but one more thing is there that uh, queen is also one of the attacking piece which can come in the game and rook is also one of the piece which can come in the game so these are like the potential attackers which uh, doesn't seem like they are there okay and uh, defenders you are absolutely right that the knight is the main defender okay defenders are black knight and the bishop and rook on f8 may help in defending elegance you are also kind of right about this thing but uh, main significance i will give that the knight on f6 is the main defender so as i said like we should try to reduce the number of attacker like number of defenders from the board if you want to get a successful attack so the next move is quite natural how will you dislodge this uh, knight from this square what will you play chalo batao abhi क्या खेलोगे अभी नाइट एफ सिक्स का है हमें उसको बोर्ड से बाहर निकालना है यू वॉन्ट टू एक्शन दैट पीस एट एनी कॉस्ट आर यू गोइंग टू गेट इट आउट ऑफ द बोर्ड नाइट एच फाइव एग्जैक्टली कुनाल यू आर ऑल्सो राइट एंड बिटू पान यू आर ऑल्सो राइट नाइट एच फाइव बींग गेमिंग नाइट एच फाइव इज द बेस्ट मू इन दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू एक्शन द नाइट अभी इस पोजिशन में लास्कस यस रंजित यू आर ऑल्सो राइट अबाउट दिस थिंग लास्कस अपोनेंट कैप्चर नाइट इन टू एच फाइव थिंकिंग दैट मे बी वाइट विल कैप्चर क्वीन इन टू एच फाइव एंड देन दिस बिशप इज अटैकिंग ऑन एच सेवन क्वीन इज ऑल्सो अटैकिंग एंड देन दिस बिशप इज ऑल्सो अटैकिंग दैट इज वन थिंग एंड ब्लैक विल प्ले एफ फाइव मूव एंड ही विल डिफेंड द पोजिशन ठीक है ऐसा ब्लैक ने सोचा बट इमेन्यूअल लास्कर वॉज वेरी शार्प इन टैक्टिक्स नाउ यू कैन गेट द आंसर हियर Okay, our title suggests this thing. That's why you can get the answer very quickly. Which move will you play first? Will you capture on h5 or will you play something else? Okay, it's not a big uh, like surprise now. You might be getting the answer very quickly. What will you capture first? We want to open up black's king. See, black ka problem kya pata hai kya? Black doesn't have the defenders that much on this side of the board. this queen bishop and the rook these are not in the game they are just being like the spectators on one side of the board bishop h7 exactly bishop should capture on h7 without any hesitation you should capture but ek cheez hai dekho jaise maine pehle bhi bataya tha ki like we need to have attackers and we should also see the defenders from our opponent side 
तो इस साइड में अपोनेंट के डिफेंडर्स नहीं है सो इफ यू हैव और मेजर पीसेस इन दैट अटैक दैट विल बी इनफ फॉर अस तो हमें क्या करना है ब्लैक की पूरी पोजिशन जो है किंग साइड की पूरी ओपन करनी है सो बिशप इन टू एच सेवन इज द बेस्ट मूव इलेगेंस यू आर ऑल्सो राइट अबाउट दिस थिंग एंड बी एंड ओके इलेगेंस हैज गॉन लिटिल बिट टू मोज अड दैट्स क्वाइट गुड शुभंक और बिशप इन टू एच सेवन एब्सोलूटली गाइज क्लैप वेरी गुड किंग एच सेवन एंड नाउ व्हाइट कैप्चर्स क्वीन इन टू एच फाइव चेक अभी ब्लैक के पास कोई जगह नहीं है ही नीज टू गो बैक अभी यहाँ पे इलीगंस ने मुझे एक बताया था कि लिखा है कि रुक एफ थ्री कैन बी वन ऑफ द आइडियाज बट आप रुक एफ थ्री खेलोगे आई नो दैट यू वॉन्ट टू प्ले दिस रुक एफ थ्री एंड चेकमेट का थ्रेट देना है आपको बट इन मेन वाइल ब्लैक कैन मे बी मे बी ट्राई टू डिफेंड द पोजिशन बाई प्लेइंग एफ सिक्स मूव क्योंकि ये बिशप का अगर डायग्नोज बंद हो जाएगा ना इस पोजिशन में तो आपको दिक्कत हो जाएगी ठीक है बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव टाइम टू प्ले रुकेश थ्री दिस काइंड ऑफ मूव बिकॉज इवन इफ यू गिव चेक ओके आई जस्ट कैप्चर द बिशप इवन इफ यू गिव मी चेक फ्रॉम एनी वेयर द किंग इज ट्राइंग टू रन अवे एंड मे बी यू कैन गिव दिस चेक अगेन एंड ट्राई टू डू समथिंग और इफ यू कैप्चर हियर द किंग इज ऑब्वियसली रनिंग अवे विथ किंग एड तो ये ऑप्शन मेरे हिसाब से इतना अच्छा नहीं है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट यू शुड बी डूइंग रुक एफ थ्री एक अच्छी मूव है लाइक रुक शुड बी कमिंग इन द गेम रुक लिफ्ट इज अ गुड आइडिया बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड ओपन ऑफ द गेम मोर सो इन ऑर्डर टू ओपन ऑफ द गेम मोर वॉट वी शुड बी प्लेइंग सी सेकेंड सेक्रीफाइस शुड बी कमिंग इन द गेम द फर्स्ट सेक्रीफाइस केम अप ऑन द एच सेवन बट स्टिल आप अगर पोजिशन देखोगे तो एक ही पीस डाउन है लास्ट कर इज नॉट लाइक ही इज प्लेटी ऑफ पीस इज डाउन ही हैज जस्ट सेक्रीफाइस वन पीस बट द सेकेंड सेक्रीफाइस इज गोइंग टू है वॉट इज द सेकेंड सेक्रीफाइस Bishop G7 exactly. Bishop G7 should be played in this position in order to open up the position. अभी Bishop G7 के बाद मारने के बाद obviously we are going to see the game which happened in the game. Okay, Kunal you are also absolutely right. But the thing is that if your opponent doesn't capture, तो अगर उसने कोई फालतू move खेला इस position में. Let's suppose he plays D4 move trying to checkmate your king. But uh, he is the one who is getting checkmated after Queen H8 and check and mate. So he cannot really play any random move. Okay, one more thing is that your opponent can play f6 or f5 move, thinking that okay you can play this move and the king will be running away. That might be his uh, thought of action, thought thought process here. But here you don't need to play anything. We just need to bring a new piece in the game, right? So we have this rook f3 move. But if you play rook f3, see he can capture here. We can give this check, and now king doesn't have any move, but he has this bishop g5 move. But okay. the game will be over after this also it's not going to be like uh, he can survive for longer time we can play queen h4 a good idea or we can even play this check but usme kya ho raha hai ki king e7 is running away and we don't want our opponent's king to run away so queen h4 is a good idea agar rook h8 karke queen ke upar attack karta hai to we have this uh, rook h5 move and we can try to attack there or there is a brilliant idea is also there that rook into f5 check If king into f5 plays, then queen g5 check. King has only one square, and then queen g5 is sorry, queen e5 is a check and mate. So it's quite an interesting position. If it doesn't capture, then we have this kind of uh, rook lifts in the position. Okay, that is one thing. But game me kya hua? His opponent captured king into g7. Now tell me what to do, because now it's very important to play in a very nice sequential manner. We cannot just play any random move. What to do here, guys? Uh, your support is quite good today. I can see like fifteen people are there watching this stream. Thank you very much for joining me. It means a lot to me. Okay, <laughs> that you are there, and I'll be coming live tomorrow also. Uh, probably around nine thirty. I will try to come every single day, live at nine thirty. I'll I'll try. Otherwise, we'll have stream at different time also. Queen G4. Yes, Queen G4 is one of the moves in this position that we need to play. They go. Here, Rook F3 was also one of the ideas. But now, Rook F3 direct. Play again. The the problem is with Rook F3 is like opponent can play Rook H8 or Rook G8. Okay, Rook H8 or Rook G8 can play. Rook H8 is not good for me. I think because Rook H8 after that maybe Rook G3 check and the if King goes back then Queen into H8 will be a check and mate. But uh, I will play rook to g8 square. If this check is coming, then uh, king f8 can go back. Or here, if g8 if he kills, then nothing is happening. So what we have to do is before we play rook f3, I mean, before we play rook f3, we need to 
बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट द अपोनेंट किंग शुड बी देयर ऑन द एज ऑफ द बोर्ड लाइक एच फाइल पे अपोनेंट का किंग चाहिए सो दैट्स वाई जो मूव आपने बताया कुनाल ने बींग गेमिंग एंड सुधाकरण ने दैट क्वीन जी फोर शुड बी प्लेड इन दिस पोजिशन दैट इज द बेस्ट मूव बिकॉज अभी किंग एफ सिक्स आता है तो क्वीन जी फाइव के बाद चेकमेट हो रहा है ठीक है सो योर अपोनेंट नीड्स टू प्ले किंग एच सेवन किंग एच सिक्स और किंग एच सेवन जो भी है उसको एच फाइव में किंग खेलना पड़ेगा एंड नाउ वी विल ब्रिंग द रूक इन द गेम बाई प्लेइंग रूक टू एफ थ्री अभी रुक एफ थ्री के बाद रुक एच थ्री आ रहा है एंड योर अपोनेंट कैन नॉट रियली सेव द गेम इवन इफ यू प्लेज रुक जी एट देन रुक एच थ्री चेक इज कमिंग एंड बिशप एच फोर आया तो रुक इन टू एच फोर इज चेक एंड मेड तो एक लास्ट रिसोर्स है ब्लैक के साइड से दैट ही कैन प्ले ई फाइव एंड ब्रिंग द क्वीन देयर इन द गेम सो माई क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इन दिस पोजिशन इज लाइक ओके यू विल बी गेटिंग द क्वीन बट आफ्टर गेटिंग द क्वीन डू यू हैव अ गुड मूव यू शुड फाइंड आउट दैट गुड मूव ऑल्सो इन दिस पोजिशन चलो आप में से कितने लोगों को समझ में आती है गुडमू देखते हैं यहाँ पे व्हाइट हैज सेक्रीफाइस टू पीसेस गाइस ऑन एच सेवन एंड जी सेवन बट इज अपोनेंट इज रेडी दैट रुक एच थ्री क्वीन एच सिक्स रुक इन टू एच सिक्स किंग इन टू एच सिक्स के बाद ही इज रेडी टू फाइट इन द गेम बिकॉज ही इज हैविंग टू बिशअप्स एंड टू रूक्स अगेंस्ट क्वीन एंड द रूक ओके टेक्निकली दिस शुड बी विनिंग बट देर इज अ वेरी गुड आइडिया फ्रॉम द वाइट साइड बाई विच ही कैन रिकवर वन पीस दैट ही कैन विन वन पीस कैन यू टेल मी दैट मूव चलो आई एम वेडिंग ओके देर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल टैक्टिक इज देयर इन द गेम क्वीन एफ फाइव नहीं क्वीन एफ फाइव नहीं देर इज अ बेटर अल्टरनेटिव विथ ओपन देर इज अ बेटर अल्टरनेटिव द टू बिशप्स बिशप ऑन ई सेवन एंड द बिशप ऑन डी बी सेवन दिस आर द टू हैंगिंग पीस है जब भी टैक्टिक आती है ना हमेशा याद रखो कि चेक कैप्चर एंड थ्रेट इज द मेन फॉर्मूला बट द टैक्टिक्स विल ऑलवेज कम ऑन द वीक स्क्वेस वीक पीसेस ठीक है तो वीक वीक पीसेस इन दिस पोजिशन मतलब अनसपोर्टेड पीसेस right so unsupported pieces in this position obviously are bishop on e7 and uh, bishop on b7 queen d7 exactly kunar you are absolutely right about this thing queen d7 will be played and one of the bishop will be gone yes uh, subankar you are also right ranjin uh, queen d7 ranjit you are also absolutely right queen d7 is a good idea and if bishop moves anywhere in this position we are going to capture the bishop on b7 so that is how the game proceeded with king g7 but we don't need to worry now the last piece comes in the game rook f1 and now the next moves are you can say the just the matter of technique so here black played rook a b8 then he played queen d7 now again he is threatening queen d7 and uh, rook f3 rook h3 threat abhi dekho queen g4 khelne wala hai rook f3 rook h3 is going to be a check and mate very soon so black understood this thing so he played uh, rook f d8 uh, rook rook f d8 so that the king can come to f8 square but okay theek hai queen g4 check king went to f8 square f into e5 was played if bishop into e5 is played then we have this uh, queen e6 move i'll say it is a very good idea which is similar to what happened in the game also but okay he played bishop g7 and now which move will you play from the white side because now it is very important to play good moves chalo batao kya karoge abhi e6 ah yes being uh, gaming you are absolutely right that e6 is the best move in this position because we want to attack the pawn on f7 square very good uh dipesh gurjar uh, yeah queen g6 is also one of the ideas which is also equally good move there is nothing wrong with this move chatanya is saying like how are you yes i am great i am great <laughs> enjoying theek hai e6 to abhi yahan pe f6 is one of the ideas but f6 karoge to fir se queen e6 bhi ek idea hai yahan pe ओके दिस पोजिशन शुड बी विनिंग बट यहाँ पे एक सिंपल सा टैक्टिक है दैट वी कैन प्ले ई सेवन चेक अभी दोनों में से एक पीस मर रहा है तो ब्लैक को कैप्चर करना पड़ेगा एंड देन विल बी कैप्चरिंग ऑन जी सेवन द किंग माइड गो टू दिस स्क्वायर एंड देन रुक एफ सिक्स एंड फॉलोड बाय रुक एफ एट इट्स गोइंग टू बी ए चेक एंड मेड तो देखो एफ सिक्स मूव यहाँ पे खेला नहीं ब्लैक प्लेड रुक बी सेवन बट ओके वी कैन स्टिल इम्प्रूव द पोजिशन बाई प्लेइंग क्वीन जी सिक्स विच वॉज सजेस्टेड प्रीवियसली एंड नाउ एफ सिक्स and now the final shot chalo batao the final blow in this game which uh, ended the game very soon 
वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट द पोजिशन एक बार आपको विनिंग पोजिशन मिल जाती है तो देन ऑल्सो वी नीड टू प्ले वेरी एक्यूरेटली वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट दैट पोजिशन इन टू अनिंग पोजिशन तो क्या करोगे देखो व्हाइट के पास बहुत सारे पॉन्स है और ब्लैक डिफेंड करने के ट्राई कर रहा है विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बिशप एंड द रूक यस अनिकेत आई एम गुड आई एम ग्रेट आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम यस ऑन माई स्ट्रीम इट्स बीन लॉन्ग टाइम बट आई एम बैक and i'll uh, i'll try to be a little bit more uh, regular also now good to have you here chalo so guys finish off the game from white side play a move g4 ne g4 is little bit slow being gaming it's a little bit slow kunal gupta yes kunal absolutely right we should capture on the f6 square we should capture on the f6 square because f6 ke upar aap capture karoge to opponent ka jo bishop hai wo game se chala jayega because it's necessary for him to capture if he plays king g8 मे बी यू कैन प्ले दैट मूव बट आई विल जस्ट प्ले रुक एफ सेवन एंड अभी क्वीन जी सेवन का थ्रेट है अगर आप उन्होंने यहाँ पे मारते हैं तो देन वी कैन जस्ट प्ले क्वीन इन टू एफ सेवन किंग विल गो टू एच सेवन और एच एट डजेंट मैटर विल प्ले ई सेवन फॉलोड बाय ई एट एंड वाइट शुड बी विनिंग इन दैट पोजिशन वेरी इजिली ठीक है तो रुक एफ सिक्स के बाद ब्लैक डिसाइडेड टू कैप्चर ऑन एफ सिक्स बट वी कैन सिंपली कैप्चर क्वीन इन टू एफ सिक्स अभी क्वीन चेक भी दे रहा रुक के ऊपर अटैक भी है सो ही प्लेड किंग टू ई एट स्क्वायर and now you finish off the game with a nice skiver can you find out the skiver in this position chalo aap mein se kon tactics mein acche hai dekhte hain yahan pe okay find out the skiver in this position skiver aapko pata hai na skiver mein major piece or uh, more valuable piece will be there usko check aata hai aur uske piche koi minor piece rehta hai ya less valuable piece rehta hai wo mar jata hai usko bolte hai skiver to dekho aapko milta hai kya skiver is this is position mein Thank you guys for liking the stream also. I really appreciate your support for the stream over here. And if you are new here, don't forget to like the stream. Okay. And some of you uh, who would like to uh, have a coaching or something like that, they can always uh, visit my website. Okay. I am giving the website's name over here. You can always uh, check out my website. My academy's website is there. You can always check it out. I have pinned it here in the chat. I hope you will get it. Okay. And I am going to uh, arrange one camp also very soon. So I'll be putting that notification also for everyone. Queen H8, Queen G6 check, and then Queen G7 and take the yes. Okay, yes, that's there. But Queen G6 is skipper not going to happen because he might be playing King F8. Okay. तो पहले यहाँ पे क्वीन एच एट खेलना चाहिए विच वॉज सजेस्टेड बाय कुनाल ओवर हियर ओके प्रतीक हेलो हेलो प्रतीक सो किंग हैज ओनली वन मूव एंड देन क्वीन जी सेवन और क्वीन एच सेवन डजेंट मैटर एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल बी गेटिंग द रुक ऑन बी सेवन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सो दिस इज द स्कीवर दैट इज वॉट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट मोर वैल्यूबल पीस मीन्स द किंग इज देयर उसके पीछे रुक इज देयर विच इज नॉट दैट मच वैल्यूबल वी गिव द चेक एंड वी कैप्चर द रुक ये उल्टा होता है पिन के इन पिन a major piece is behind a minor piece is in front and we attack the minor piece the minor piece cannot move that is what the pin is yes ankit bhai thank you thank you very much okay so this is okay they played for a while and then uh, he managed to win the game so this was a very beautiful example played by emmanuel lasker abhi is you I, i hope that you have understood it started with all this uh, bishop into h7 move but bishop into एच सेवन खेलने से पहले वाइट प्रिपेयर वेरी वेल ही ब्रॉट हिज पीसेस इन द गेम ही एक्सचेंज इज अपोनेंट्स डिफेंडर एंड देन ओनली ही सैक्रीफाइस द पीसेस तो प्री मैच्योर अटैक नहीं करना चाहिए वी शुड नेवर ट्राई टू डू द प्री मैच्योर अटैक वी शुड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू प्ले विथ गेटिंग स्मॉल स्मॉल एडवांटेजेस इन द पोजिशन और यू कैन से प्लेइंग विथ ऑल योर पीसेस जैसे मैंने बताया आपको पहले भी कि लाइक इफ इट्स अ पार्टी then your pieces are like your friends and friends ke siwa party nahi hoti hai guys so <laughs> this is the party going on theek hai chalo so have you got this uh, thing i hope that you have understood bishop into g7 ke baad rook lift karna zaruri hai but before you get the rook in the game first of all you should play queen to g4 push your opponent's king to the h file or the edge of the board you can say and then only bring the rook in the game theek hai so this was kind of uh, an interesting uh, game so should i show you some uh, more interesting games now i have decided to show you another game by a player who was very famous in past his name was uh, miles he was uh, one of the great players from england okay so let's look at his game do you want to see his game just give me a thumbs up okay <laughs> 
Just give me a thumbs up, okay? I hope that. Uh, okay, chalo. I'm going to show you the game. Powery hori, yes. <laughs> I'm going to show you the game now. Just one minute. A new board is going to come up over here. Yep. Thoda sa misplaced ho gaya board, but I will arrange it properly now. You just have a patience. Okay, now it is arranged properly. I think everything is cool. Sir, please tell me that uh, how much time control game we should play. Uh, yes, sir, Tiwari. Well, uh, I'll tell you one thing that you should try to, if you are a beginner or if you are just uh, into a chess or you are trying to improve, then uh, try to play a little bit longer time control games, maybe 15 minutes or uh, 30 minutes games. Okay. And then only you can go a little bit further. And Bleeds or Bullet Top Kill Sakta, but I will not uh, recommend those games for practicing that much because uh, maybe after long period of time, like uh, when you are into chess, then Bleeds might be helpful for you to try out some new things or uh, being good in tactics and everything just to see how good you are into intuition. But if you are into developing phase, then try to play a little bit longer time control. 15 minutes uh, with some increment or 10 minutes with some increment will be good. And uh, if you can play 30 minutes game, that will be the best. Okay. Hello. Now, this is the next game which uh, I have decided to show. This was played by the England champion, Miles. He was a great player of past guys. He played uh, in many top tournaments in Olympiad also he played. And uh, he was famous for his attacking chess. Okay. So our topic is attacking chess first part hai. and uh, he managed to recreate those memories which we had about the Laskus double bishop sacrifice after a long time. The previous game was played in uh, 1889 something like that and now this game is played in 1982. So after almost you can say 90 years this game was played. Still this game is quite interesting. So let's look at this game. Miles started the game with knight f3. Black played c5 and Miles played c4, knight f6. I hope that you can see the names over here. Guys, can you see the names of the players? I hope you can see it. I will show Miles ka photo bhi. Thoda sa side mein karke. I hope that everything is cool now. Chalo. Now, we'll be going towards the game here. He played a knight c3, bringing the piece in the game, controlling the center. All the common ideas are there in the opening phase because both the players are grandmasters. Okay, black player bhi jo hai Walter Brown. He was a grandmaster. You can see their rating is twenty five hundred, and they are playing um, in the Olympiad. And from England side, Miles is playing from US team. Walter Brown was playing. Okay, so then uh, D into C five, Bishop into C five. A three is played. Obviously, with the idea of playing B four over here. Okay, white B four khelne wala hai. So black ne khela A six. He made a room for the bishop to go back. Now white played b4 and now bishop to a7. So guys, uh, from this moment onwards, I'll be asking you questions and uh, I'll be quite happy that happy if you tell me the moves from the white side. We'll be looking at this game from the white side. Okay? So, mujhe batao. Chalo, main ek kaam karta hu. Thoda sa main na yaha pe uh, score jo hai wo hide kar deta hu. That will not, that will be more fair if I hide the score. Kyunki aapko pehle se pata rahega koon jitne wala hai to maza nahi aayega. थोड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग बनाते हैं ठीक है <laughs> चलो गाइस द हेल्प द स्ट्रीम टू गेट 50 लाइक्स टुडे ओके वी आर जस्ट 14 लाइक्स अवे सो मेक इट 50 लाइक्स टुडे सो कीप लाइकिंग द स्ट्रीम इफ यू आर कमिंग न्यू हियर ओके मंजू सी मत दिखाना आपकी स्ट्रीम में व्हाट विल यू प्ले फ्रॉम द वाइट साइड can you tell me which move will you play? I think bringing the piece in pieces in the game uh, that is the best thing you can do, right? Yes, Diganta, hello, hello. Khub disanandar bhetto apan. Prasanna, thank you very much. Well, uh, ek video se achha aap live stream dehi sakte ho. It will be more fun also. I will be putting timestamps so that you will get the games very easily. Okay? After the stream, I will keep the timestamps so that you can go through the game and you can learn a lot. Bishop d3 uh, is Kunal's choice here. Yes, Bishop d3 uh, 
uh, is an option and also bishop e2 both moves are quite uh, possible nothing wrong with this move but miles decided to wait for a while dekho aap bishop e2 ya bishop e3 bishop d3 khelogye na black is ready to capture on c4 to aapko phir se bishop se capture karna hi padega pawn isn't it so miles thought like maybe i can wait for one move and i can just develop a piece in the game by playing rook a c1 abhi rook c1 khelne ke baad if d into c4 is played then it is like white is saving one move bishop c4 se ek move save ho jayega because it's quite likely that black is going to do something about the pawn on d5 because if he waits for long time then white will be capturing on c into d5 let's suppose he plays some uh, random move okay just for the example what will you play maybe rook e8 in this position then we can play c into d5 e into d5 and the pawn on d5 will be uh, isolated pawn and that is not a good thing from the black side okay तो यहां पे उसको डी पॉन का कुछ ना कुछ करना पड़ेगा ओके सी फाइव टू क्लोज द बिशप वॉज वन ऑफ द आइडियाज बट यहां पे देखो आप सी फाइव अगर खेलोगे लेट सपोज यू प्ले सी फाइव ऑल्सो ओके सो सी फाइव इफ यू प्ले देन द बिशप कैन ऑलवेज कम इन द गेम फ्रॉम दिस साइड सो ब्लैक हैज दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ प्लेइंग ई फाइव एट सम पॉइंट अभी नहीं खेल सकते हैं बट मे बी यू कैन प्ले ई फाइव नाउ द बिशप विल बी कमिंग ऑन जी फोर स्क्वायर मे बी विल प्ले बिशप ई टू ठीक है नाउ आई विल ब्रिंग माई बिशप इन द गेम मे बी बिशप एफ आई बिशप जी फोर and then our rook will be coming in the game and black will get the bishop from this diagonal ultimately you want your pieces in the game right so c5 se bishop ka ek diagonal band ho raha hai but the other diagonal cannot be blocked so i will say that uh, playing c5 is like releasing the tension in the position to aapne release nahi karna chahiye tension i hope that digant you got your uh, answer over here so he just brought a piece in the game it is called as the waiting strategy मतलब आप यूजफुल मूव खेलो एंड वंस यू प्ले द यूजफुल मूव देन वेट फॉर योर अपोनेंट लाइक आपने कोई यूजफुल मूव खेला इट्स लाइक हिटिंग द बॉल इन योर अपोनेंट्स कोर्ट एंड आस्किंग लाइक नाउ द बॉल इज इन योर कोर्ट व्हाट विल यू प्ले एंड ब्लैक इज एक्चुअली शॉर्ट ऑफ गुड मूव इन दिस पोजिशन वाइट कैन स्टिल गो ऑन टू द डेवलपमेंट विथ क्वीन सी टू एंड समथिंग लाइक दैट इवन इफ ब्लैक इज नॉट डूइंग समथिंग रुकी एट एंड इफ वाइट डजेंट वॉन्ट टू कैप्चर ऑन डी फाइव ही कैन प्ले क्वीन सी टू समथिंग विच इज अ यूजफुल मूव otherwise i already told you like c into d5 is one of the ideas in this position theek hai but yahan pe black play d4 because he thought like if dc4 then bishop will be coming in the game and white ke sare pieces dekho ye bishop is diagonal pe hai dusra bishop is diagonal pe hai knight is ready to jump in the game and uh, white pieces are more active theek hai and he doesn't even want to action the queens black ko queens game pe rakhna tha because he also wants to have a good chance in the stream okay ajit uh, gole h3 well no no एच थ्री जैसे मूव आप जब खेलोगे तो इट्स नॉट इवन यूजफुल नो डोंट प्ले यूजलेस मूव दिस एच थ्री काइंड ऑफ अ मूव इज लाइक द कॉफी हाउस मूव लाइक व्हाट्स द पॉइंट ऑफ प्लेइंग एच थ्री ओके यू आर स्टॉपिंग नाइट जी फोर बट अभी इस पोजिशन में नाइट जी फोर स्टॉप करना जरूरी है क्या नहीं है ना सो वी शुड ऑलवेज आस दिस क्वेश्चन इज इट रियली नेसेसरी टू प्ले दिस काइंड ऑफ एच थ्री और ए थ्री काइंड ऑफ मूव देन द आंसर विल बी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स इट्स लाइक नो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी आई कैन प्ले अ बेटर मूव I can just uh, develop my piece in the game and that will be much more better. क्योंकि जितने ज़्यादा pieces game में लाओगे जल्दी जल्दी उतना आपको फायदा होगा ठीक है So he played rook c1, then d4 was played from the black side. White captured, e captures d4, knight captures d4, and now, okay, ये bishop का diagonal अभी थोड़ा important है क्योंकि जब तक e3 थ्री पे पॉन था द डायगोनल वॉज कंप्लीटली शट डाउन बट आफ्टर ई डी फोर नाइट इन टू डी फोर हियर ब्लैक इज थ्रेटिंग सम ऑफ द थिंग्स एंड दैट्स वाई माइल्स थॉट लाइक ही शुड प्ले सी फाइव विच इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन इन दिस पोजिशन ठीक है क्योंकि अभी ई फाइव आके कुछ इतना जल्दी कुछ होने नहीं वाला है सो यू प्लेट सी फाइव सो नाउ नाइट इन टू एफ थ्री बिकॉज नाइट वॉज बींग अटैक विद नाइट एज वेल एज द क्वीन सो ही प्लेड नाइट इन टू एफ थ्री क्वीन इन टू एफ थ्री नाउ ब्लैक इज इन काइंड ऑफ अ ट्रबल क्योंकि उसका बिशप सी एट का जब तक निकलेगा ना तब तक रुक नहीं आ रहा है गेम में ठीक है सो ही प्लेड बिशप डी सेवन इन दिस पोजिशन नाउ टेल मी वॉट टू डू well sr tiwari is saying like sir i have a problem that i saw lots of tactics in a day but i can't implement this in my games how do i improve well it takes time it takes time for implementing those ideas and it also takes time to understand the patterns on the board kyunki tactics solve karte ho to kya hota hai aapse like you get to know about the patterns correct jab aapko patterns bahut zyada pata chalte hai then if similar patterns happens on the board then it clicks to you but it will click to you only when you are focused on the board 
इफ यू आर नॉट फोकस्ड इन दैट मूवमेंट तो पैटर्न चला जाएगा एंड देन यू विल नॉट गेट द टैक्टिक सो अलर्टनेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो बी अलर्ट बी मोर इन टू द गेम बी फोकस्ड एंड डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट द टैक्टिक्स ऑन द वर्ल्ड और टैक्टिक्स ऐसे ही नहीं आते यू सॉल्व द टैक्टिक्स बट टैक्टिक्स विल कम ओनली फ्रॉम द गुड पोजिशन ऑन हाउ टू गेट द गुड पोजिशन इज लाइक प्लेस योर पीसेस ऑन द गुड स्क्वेयर जैसे कि व्हाइट के पीसेस देखो अच्छे स्क्वेयर पे दे आर डूइंग समथिंग वेन यू हैव योर पीसेस ऑन अ गुड स्क्वेयर ऑन सम गुड स्क्वेयर देन ओनली द टैक्टिक्स विल हैपन बिकॉज इट इज सेड दैट मेनी टॉप प्लेयर्स दे यूज टू से दैट ऐसे टैक्टिक्स आते नहीं है लाइक दे विल ऑलवेज कम फ्रॉम गुड पोजिशन ठीक है सो यहाँ पे बिशप डी थ्री इज समथिंग वन ऑफ द थिंग ओके Bishop d3 is one of the thing. Yes, definitely. Bishop should be played on this square because we can attack over on these two uh, diagonals, right? So that's why we should go for this thing. Bishop to d3. Now black played bishop c6. Yeah, bishop e2 is there, but I will prefer playing bishop to d3 in this position because attack over in this position. Me. Otherwise, if you play bishop e2, then what's the point? There is no point. Rook d1 is something. Knight e4 to remove the black knight, then bishop h7. Yeah, first play bishop d3. Kill na padega na par. दिगन यू नीड टू प्ले बिशप डी थ्री देन ओनली नाइट विल बी कमिंग ऑन ई फोर स्क्वेयर एंड देन इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यू बिफोर प्लेइंग बिशप डी थ्री इट विल नॉट बी यूजफुल करेक्ट सो ब्लैक प्लेट बिशप सी सिक्स ठीक है सो आफ्टर नाइट बिशप कम्स हियर माइस प्लेट नाइट ई फोर ऑब्वियसली द आइडिया ऑफ नाइट ई फोर इज टू रिमूव द डिफेंडर फ्रॉम द एफ सिक्स स्क्वेयर ठीक है तो इफ ब्लैक वॉन्टेड टू हैव अ इक्वल गेम देन ही कुड हैव गॉन फॉर नाइट इन टू ई फोर विच ही प्लेड बिशप इन टू ई फोर और ब्लैक ने यहाँ पे बिशप इनटू ई फोर मार देना चाहिए बिकॉज इन दिस पोजिशन दिस टू बिशप्स आर क्वाइट डेंजरस ब्लैक के पीसेस जो बिशप है इतने अच्छे नहीं है सो वी शुड ऑलवेज डू दिस थिंग वेन एवर वी गेट द चांस टू एक्सचेंज अवर अपोनेंट्स गुड पीसेस यू शुड एक्सचेंज इफ यू डिले दैट प्रोसीजर देन यू विल बी इन ट्रेवल ओके वेन ओके सुभाष सिंह लाइक वेन देर विल टूर्नामेंट हैपन आई हैव ज्वाइन योर क्लब सिंस फोर मंथ्स या will definitely have a tournament uh, maybe uh, in last 4 months we had two three tournaments but not that much i was uh, busy in other things but definitely will be having tournament very soon okay i'll declare about it so queen c7 black ne khela neglecting all the threats over his king side so now you tell me what will you play from the white side guys whoever is new here don't forget to like the stream okay we was uh, the more you like more it will be good and people will also come and they will learn something because i am trying to express some of the things here i am trying to share my knowledge okay chalo ab batao he should have played bishop e4 but he did not play it the attacking piece is there what to do i hope you will get it now this is the bishop h7 yes bishop into h7 thoda aage jao bishop into h7 to koi bhi khelega but uh, thoda aage jao like bishop into h7 is uh, definitely one of the moves but uh, if uh, i do not get any notifications okay sir play classical game good but uh, i'm at bad in bullet what do i do don't play bullet what to do <laughs> Queen G4, Bishop H7. देखो इस पोजिशन में ना बिशप एच सेवन आप डायरेक्ट बोल रहे हो मुझे दैट यू वॉन्ट टू प्ले बिशप एच सेवन बट यू शुड ऑल्सो सी दैट आप बिशप एन इन टू एच सेवन के बाद कुछ कर सकते हो या नहीं दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज जस्ट गिविंग द सेक्रीफाइस डजेंट मीन एनी थिंग ओके इफ यू कैनॉट रियली गेट अ गुड अटैक आफ्टर दैट जैसे कि मैंने पहले भी बताया कि आपके पीसेस अगर गेम में नहीं रह गए तो यू कैनॉट रियली अटैक प्रॉपरली सो इफ यू प्ले बिशप इन टू एच सेवन अपोनेंट विल कैप्चर डेफिनेटली एंड देन वॉट टू डू we can play queen h5 king will go back and uh, last card double bishop sacrifice can be played here but what next what next is there we should continue the variation not just one move but we should continue the variation a little bit more then it will help you and maybe we can play queen g5 king will come uh, h8 or h7 somewhere and you can go for rook to c3 but yahan pe Rook h3 is not something which will be coming in the game because bishop g2 is one of the ideas. 
और एक चीज है यहाँ पे कि ब्लैक कैन प्ले बिशप ई फोर एंड द बिशप विल बी कमिंग बैक इन द गेम इफ यू प्ले रुकेश थ्री देन बिशप एच सेवन एंड इफ यू प्ले समथिंग लाइक क्वीन एच फाइव देन एफ फाइव इज अ गुड आइडिया टू सपोर्ट द बिशप एंड ओके इफ यू प्ले क्वीन एफ सिक्स ट्राइंग टू चेक मेट बट दैट विल नॉट हैपन बिकॉज इफ यू प्ले रुक जी थ्री देर आर टू थ्री ऑप्शन फ्रॉम द ब्लैक साइड ब्लैक यहाँ पे क्वीन जी थ्री खेल सकता है एक मूव या फिर यू कैन सिंपली प्ले बिशप जी सिक्स बिकॉज आफ्टर बिशप जी सिक्स रुक इन टू जी सिक्स कुछ नहीं होने वाला है इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी द एंड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो यू नीट टू बी लिटिल बिट केयरफुल यू नीट टू हैव अ लिटिल बिट मोर पीसेस इन द गेम सो माइल्स वॉज अ प्लेयर हु अंडरस्टूड कि सेक्रीफाइस करके ही माइट बी गेटिंग अ ड्रॉ बट नॉट मोर देन दैट सो ही वॉज पेशेंट तो प्री मैच योर अटैक नहीं करना है वी शुड फर्स्ट कैसल दिस वॉज द बेस्ट मूव जस्ट ब्रिंगिंग द पीस इन द गेम After castling, the rook has come up in the game, so white has more chances now. Abhi bhi black has the chance to just capture here, and the game will be okay. But still, white will be having a slight edge, I will say, because uh, he has a pawn majority on the queen side. Okay, and the bishop on uh, a7 is not that much active. So <clears throat> that is something which black could have played. Black played rook a d8. Now what to do? Let's see. You can get it or not. Yeah, Sora Mishra suggested castle. That was absolutely a uh, वेरी नाइस वो वेरी गुड सौरभ देखो अब अब देखो इस पोजिशन में थोड़ा ज्यादा कुछ कर सकते हो इन दिस पोजिशन आफ्टर कैसलिंग द थिंग इज दैट पॉन ऑन जी टू इज ऑल्सो सपोर्टेड बिकॉज द किंग इज द वन हुई सपोर्टिंग सो नाउ मे बी मे बी द सैक्रीफाइस विल वर्क इन अ बेटर वे चलो बताओ तब तक मैं थोड़ा पानी पीता हूँ आई विल गेट सम वाटर टिल दैट टाइम यस मेहुल गुड टू सी यू हियर बिशप एफ सिक्स नो बिशप एफ सिक्स इज नॉट दैट मच कूल ओवर हियर बिशप एफ सिक्स से क्या हो रहा है कुछ भी नहीं इफ इट डजेंट कैप्चर देन वॉट If he doesn't capture, then what will you do? And if he captures also, let's suppose he captures, then what is your answer? There is nothing uh, that much cool after bishop into f6. I don't see anything. Maybe you can capture over here, but uh, I can just capture it, right? You can give a check, and uh, after this, what? We might be playing this move, but yeah, pe sirf rook h3 check aa raha hai, and this check can be prevented by something. Can we prevent it? By any means, yeah. Maybe bishop into g2 is the idea. अगर king into g2 आता है तो rook g8 will be good idea. One of the ideas. No, rook g8 में rook h3 check आ रहा है, right? Right. Wait. What we can do here? Okay, we can give a check or maybe. <clears throat> yeah, this was a good idea. I think one of the idea. Bishop f6 मार नहीं सकते, ठीक है? But if we don't capture, then what? We will not capture. No, black will not capture. That thing, I think that will be good. If nobody captures and if I capture on bishop here first, and then I can capture here. Yeah, this makes this makes more sense. I'll capture on uh, e4 first and then f6. So <clears throat> not a good idea. And if you capture bishop into d8, then uh, maybe we can capture or maybe simply this is also good. Maybe this is a possibility. So देखो यहाँ पे I don't think so. Direct मारना जरूरी है. Bishop h7 is better idea. I think Bishop into h7 is better idea because it is more straightforward. एक चीज मैं बताता हूँ कि like uh, whenever we are playing, no, we should always see for the check capture threat instead of playing Bishop f6, which looks like a very classy move. I don't know, uh, but uh, instead of that, if you have something direct, Bishop into h7 is a direct threat. Like your opponent needs to take a decision. Either he will capture. Or he will play king h8, so he needs to make a decision. But after bishop f6, there are plenty of options from your opponent's side. Okay, so bishop into h7 is definitely the best move in the position. Being gaming, you are right about this thing, Kunal. You are also right. Digant has given up uh, given one variation that is king h7, queen h5, king g8, queen g5, g6, queen h6. Okay, Digant has given this variation, queen uh, g5. But again, one thing is there that okay, you want to play g6 or uske baad maybe queen f6 ya fir queen h6 or yahan pe checkmate ka threat lagana hai aapko. But uh, both the threats can be prevented. Maybe um, can we prevent these threats by any chance? 
queen h8 and queen g7 but one thing is that g6 is not compulsory you know we can play f6 move in this position f6 ke baad ye queen yahan pe support kar raha and uh, the bishop's diagonal is getting blocked so i think queen g5 is not good think about the lasker's game in lasker's game lasker opened up the position in a very nice way he opened up the position by giving two sacrifices of bishop so hame sirf ye position open karna hai yahan pe g7 pawn is the main pawn so what to do the answer is quite clear yahan pe bishop into g7 must be played must be played bishop into g7 must be played in this position because uh, again if you plays f5 or f6 this kind of a move we can uh, always uh, we can always just play this move he will play here and we can capture on f8 rook will be capturing on f8 and then queen at 7 king will come here and queen will capture on c7 so this is what we can do right we'll get the queen in the skewer so that is not a one option so black might be capturing here so as we have talked about this thing earlier rook lift it rook lift karna hai hame right we want to do the rook lift but before we go for the rook lift first of all we need to push our opponent's king into the corner or you can say jo h file hai usme usko you karna padega yeah kunal you are right shishupal kumar hi yes hello <laughs> guys good to have you here uh, queen g5 should be played ya yeah, queen g4 dono mein se ek koi bhi move chalta hai yahan pe the main aim is to like push your opponent's king to the h file and once his king is on the h file then only you bring your rook in the game rook uh, c3 ya rook c4 se game mila but see yahan pe rook c3 agar kheloge na then maybe your opponent can capture opponent can play bishop e4 or bishop uh, can come over here okay bishop can come to h7 square so that's why you should control the e4 square though whenever you have uh, you are planning for this kind of two sacrifices remember this thing that you are going to win the game because of your queen and the rook so rook lift is very important but rook lift karte time opponent ka koi piece game mein nahi aana chahiye ya defense ke liye nahi aana chahiye theek hai so that's why here rook c4 is the best idea abhi bishop e4 nahi aata hai kyunki maar denge hum aur uh, if this is played then uh, we can capture uh, king into g2 that is obviously there but uh, there is no need we can just play rook h4 and a chicken mate so h3 ka square kuch kaam mein nahi aa raha even if bishop g2 is there but if rook c3 was there then the h3 square can be guarded by playing uh, bishop into g2 so chote chote threats nahi aayegi if you pay attention to your opponent's uh, ideas theek hai so the game was over very soon uh, यहाँ पे एक चीज है देखो रुक सी फोर खेलने के बाद देर इज वन फ्लॉ इज देयर कैन यू गेट दैट फ्लॉ कैन यू गेट दैट फ्लॉ रुक सी फोर हमने इतना देखा लाइक रुक लिफ्ट इज देयर एंड एवरी थिंग बट विथ रुक लिफ्ट देर इज अ फ्लॉ इन दिस पोजिशन एक चांस है ब्लैक के लिए पोजिशन डिफेंड करने का लेट सी वेदर यू कैन गेट दैट थिंग लेट सी वेदर यू कैन गेट दैट थिंग वॉट विल ब्लैक प्ले हियर ब्लैक कैन प्ले वन सिंपल मूव and he can defend the position yes mukund kshatriya hello chalo black ka defense dhoondo rook c4 has a small flaw f6 exactly f6 will be played no rook g8 mein kuch problem nahi rook g8 to rook h4 aa raha hai digant the thing is that he can play f6 and now after f6 if rook h4 is played then queen is coming to h7 square this is the defense from the black side so black is hoping for this thing after rook c4 so dekho blindly hame okay queen mil jayega but black is having four pieces man one two three four pieces are there and black should be fine he is still fighting okay <laughs> he is still fighting in the position so we should pay attention to opponent's defenses so rook c4 exactly right now is not happening so what we should play before playing rook c4 chalo batao mujhe सॉरी विच इज द मूव देखो queen f6 exactly we should stop opponent's plan of playing f6 by playing queen f6 check first abhi kahin bhi jaye wo king g8 jaye king h7 jaye it doesn't matter for us 
बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू प्ले रुक टू सी फोर और रुक एच फोर स्टॉप नहीं होता है नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू ए चेक मेट बिकॉज इफ यू प्लेस बिशप ई फोर हम मार देंगे रुक डी फाइव आया तो हम प्ले रुक एच फोर इफ रुक एच फाइव देन रुक एच फाइव किंग हैज द ओनली स्क्वायर एंड नाउ वी विल प्ले रुक एच एट चेक एंड मेट सो क्वीन ऑफ सिक्स इज एब्सोलूटली राइट इलीगंस कुनाल दिगंत बींग गेमिंग एंड ध्रुव ज्योति एंड शुभंकर वेल यू गाइज दीपेश ऑल्सो यू गाइज आर बैंग ऑन टारगेट अबाउट दिस मो ग्रेट ग्रेट सो किंग किंग अगर जी एट भी जाता है तो भी कोई टेंशन नहीं है वी कैन सिंपली प्ले रुक टू सी फोर द आइडिया इज स्टिल सेम रुक जी फोर वी इज कमिंग एंड क्वीन जी सेवन विल बी अ चेक एंड मेट सो इट्स जस्ट द मैटर ऑफ टाइम अंटिल यू चेक मेट यूर अपोनेंट विद दिस मोन्स ओके सो अगेन like two bishop uh, sacrifices last card bishop sacrifices were played on the board by one grandmaster to aisa nahi hai dekho the point of showing you this game was like it's not like only in the beginner level games this kind of sacrifices happen in top level games also this kind of sacrifice happen miles and uh, brown walter these were the two top class player who were playing in the olympiad to matlab badi tournament mein khel rahe the and uh, they were playing for their country but still this uh, typical sacrifice with bishop h7 bishop g7 happened on the board and uh, the game was over in just few moves so you should always learn this kind of typical sacrifices in chess okay i hope that you like this game also don't forget to like this stream we are very close to 50 likes guys itna to banta hai 50 likes uh, miles ke liye aur laskar ke liye so before i end the stream i want to show you a beautiful game played by one of the legends theek hai who was very famous for his dynamic chess can you guess that player's name whose game i am going to show you any guesses a legends game who is very famous in the chess field for his attacking and dynamic chess can you guess his name let's see whether you can guess his name i am going to show you his game now गुड शो यू हिज नेम चलो आप गेस करो तब हम देखते हैं आपको आता है या नहीं कास्पर ओ वाओ इलिगेंस इज सेम कास्पर ओ एनी अदर गेसेस एनी अदर गेसेस अले खाइन ओके ताल ओके ताल ताल बहुत बार आ रहा है आपके न्यू से तार और अले खाइन तो एक चीज मैं बताता हूं ताल और अले खाइन जो थे इनका मिक्सचर एक प्लेयर में था हिज नेम वॉज ओके द गाइज हु आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कास्पर ऑफ You are quite lucky, I'll say in your guess. Kasparov's game मैं दिखाने वाला हूँ and Kasparov implemented the strategy which uh, I just showed to you. Okay, so there will be some interesting stuff over here. So just pay attention. How did Kasparov play in this game? ठीक है. So Kasparov was white. His opponent Portish, who was a very famous player of past guys, he was there against him and uh, it was player in nineteen eighty three. You can check it over there also. The names are there. Okay. So Kasparov was the player. So do you want to see the Kasparov's game now? This is another brilliant game, very attacking and uh, fascinating game by Kasparov because this is our series, right? Attacking in chess is the series uh, we have over here, and I hope that you will definitely enjoy. Chalo, dekhte dekhte abhi. So what was the thing over there? Sure. In this game, <laughs> but okay. By coincidence, you know this game. Okay. No one will dominate the chess world as Kasparov. Those twenty golden years. Yeah, you can say fifteen years, not twenty uh, years. He was world champion from nineteen eighty five to two thousand. In two thousand, he lost against uh, Kramnik. So you can say technically fifteen years. But okay, he was uh, great till his retirement. Also till two thousand five. Also he was uh, the top player in the world. So you are right. 20 गोल्डन ईयर्स <laughs> चलो तो जिस किसी को गेम पता है आप थोड़ा मूव बताने के लिए थोड़ा टाइम वेट करना एंड देन ओनली यू टेल द मूव बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क द मूव एंड आई होप दैट यू विल बी एबल टू गेस द मूव फ्रॉम द कास्परॉस साइड ठीक है चलो फिर सो कास्परॉस स्टार्टेड द गेम विथ डी फोर मूव ओके आफ्टर डी फोर मूव हिज अपोनेंट प्लेड नाइट टू एफ सिक्स देन सी फोर ई सिक्स नाइट एफ थ्री दिस इज द क्वींस इंडियन डिफेंस ओके b6 was played and now he simply plays knight c3 and bishop b7 and a3 see this system with particularly a3 move knight c3 move 
वॉज फर्स्ट प्लेड बाय कास्पर कोच ठीक है नॉट फर्स्ट प्लेड बट वॉज फ्रीक्वेंटली प्लेड बाय हिस कोच कैन यू नेम कैन डू यू नो द कास्पर कोच नेम चलो आप में से किसको कास्पर के कोच का नाम पता है देखते हैं टेल मी कास्परॉस कोच नेम कम ऑन दिस सिस्टम वॉज मेड फेमस बाय हिज कोच एंड ही वॉज ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड चेस्ट चैंपियन गाइज कास्पर लर्न हिज इन हिज चेस स्कूल हु वॉज दैट प्लेयर हु वॉज दैट कोच कम ऑन टेल मी कितने लोगों को जनरल नॉलेज है पेट्रोशियन वॉज नॉट कास्पर ऑस कोच पेट्रोशियन वॉज नॉट द कास्पर ऑस कोच ही स्टार्टेड मिखाइल बॉटविनिक यस बॉटविनिक चेस स्कूल में बॉटविनिक चेस स्कूल में कास्परो ने पढ़ाई की राइट फ्रॉम द वेरी अर्ली एज ही वॉज सेलेक्टेड इन द बॉटविनिक चेस स्कूल एंड बॉटविनिक वॉज हिज कोच यू कैन से टिल हिज प्राइम टाइम ऑल्सो यस बॉटविनिक चेस स्कूल यस एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली राइट अबाउट दिस थिंग नो अलेक्जेंडर वॉज अलेक्जेंडर अलेक्म वॉज ऑलरेडी डेड ही डाइड वेन ही वॉज वर्ल्ड चेस चैम्पियन सो डैट वॉज क्वाइट लॉन्ग बैक ठीक है ओके सो this system was uh, made famous by his coach botwinik and he used to play this uh, system that a3 with the a3 move it looks like it is a vestige of move but actually it is a very useful move because uh, the players who wants to play ninjo indian defense they know this thing that they always want to play bishop b4 let's suppose aap e3 khelte ho is position mein to bishop b4 ke baad this will be converted into ninjo indian positions and black will be happy to so black ko comfortable nahi banane ke liye a3 was played which is not only a useful move because bishop b4 stop ho raha hai but also it will be useful in future to play b4 to thoda offensive karne ke liye bhi this move is very useful yeah so he played a3 now black played d5 because he needs to control the center kasparov uh, played c takes d5 knight captures d5 if uh, e captures d5 that is also one of the good moves in this position and uh, white can definitely play bishop f4 or bishop g5 and uh, then he will play e3 move bishop d3 will be played queen c2 rook c1 castles and so on the game will go on okay so yahan pe knight d5 was played e into d5 was equally possible so yahan pe e3 was played by kasparov knight captures on c3 b captures c3 bishop e7 now to get a tempo kasparov played bishop b5 move okay this is a very uh, technical stuff so i will not go get, go into this thing because uh, we just want to focus on the middle game so bishop b5 c6 bishop to d3 and now black played c5 to dekho kya hai pata hai kya uh, same hi position hai sirf opponent ko thoda pareshan karne ke liye he played this thing <laughs> there is nothing uh, like uh, anything else another thing is there if you don't play bishop to b5 okay one technical thing is there if you play bishop d3 immediately in this position then uh, maybe casting is one of the option and if you castle then uh, one and the same same position will be there but black has the option of playing knight d7 or knight c6 so opponent ke chances thode kam karne hai that's why he played bishop b5 now black doesn't have the square on c6 theek hai bishop ka bhi block matlab diagonal jo hai block ho gaya so first he played bishop b5 very subtle move then uh, after this c5 was played castles and now knight c6 theek hai to ek move usne thoda ye kiya Now what to do? चलो अभी इस पोजिशन से आगे हम सोचेंगे वी विल लुक एट दिस गेम टूगेदर नाउ एंड गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर मेकिंग इट फिफ्टी लाइक्स आई होप दैट इफ यू कंटिन्यू द सपोर्ट देन इट विल बी हंड्रेड लाइक्स ऑल्सो सुन सो इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक द स्ट्रीम गाइज बिकॉज योर सपोर्ट मीन्स अ लॉट ओके एंड यूर वन लाइक इज लाइक अ ग्रेट थिंग फॉर अस कीप सपोर्टिंग विल बी मीटिंग टूमोरो ऑल्सो you should encourage me <laughs> and you can suggest some topics also in the end chalo batao abhi kya karoge white ka move hai in this position white is on the move See, I am waiting for your answers, guys. I'm waiting for your answers. I'm waiting for your guesses. White ke side se hume guess karna hai. Move. This is the best way to practice uh, any uh, game. You should guess the moves, guys. Okay? You should always try to do that thing.
yes i will be streaming most probably daily bishop b5 queen c2 in the night what else okay we have uh, two three options from your side ek yahan pe aapne bataya bishop b5 karke pin karo dekho aap bishop b5 khel sakte ho pin karne ke liye ek hi move hai par he will just castle to pin to nikal jayega so bishop b5 khelna itna acha nahi hai na bar bar ek hi piece ko khelna is not a good ideal thing okay you should try to play a new piece every time at least in the opening phase until you have developed your pieces queen c2 is one of your answers like diganta has talked about queen c2 saurabh is also saying queen c2 okay a4 bishop a3 also we'll consider one by one so queen c2 kheloge to definitely it is one of the options in this position but after queen c2 dekho black ke paas ek option hai he can first capture on uh, d4 or maybe he can play rook c8 with the idea of seeing ca captures d4 c captures d4 or knight move karke queen ke upar attack aa sakta hai so the indirect attack is there if you place your queen on c2 to aapko kabhi na kabhi to queen e2 jaldi bhag jana padega so that is not a good option from the like, in this position right so queen c2 is not there another thing is that bishop develop karne ke liye one move was suggested that is uh, a4 followed by bishop e3 definitely this is one of the ideas in the position and uh, kasparov could have played like that but as i mentioned that he wants to control the b4 square so he doesn't want to push the pawn to a4 square immediately okay or uh, black ne abhi tak kuch commitment nahi kiya black has not played c into d4 or anything so you need to wait in this position you need to play a move which is a waiting move as well as a useful move so a waiting as well as useful move was played by kasparov that is bishop b2 bishop b2 or yeah, bishop d2 was also one of the ideas but bishop d b2 is more important or better because at some point if you open up the bishop diagonal like c4 d5 karke kuch khela so then the bishop will be very well placed on that diagonal correct bishop d2 pe aap khel sakte ho but bishop uh, even if the after opening up the diagonal it will not be that great on this diagonal but if this diagonal is opened up then uh, a1 to h diagonal will, will be much more preferable according to me what do you think like which diagonal will you prefer c1 to h6 diagonal will you prefer or a1 to h8 diagonal will you prefer kaspero preferred a1 to h8 diagonal for obvious reasons kyunki opponent's king is going to be there on this side of the board guys and we need our king matlab bishops on that side of the board facing towards it theek hai so opponent play rook c8 he is waiting here so queen e2 queen c2 is obviously not a good idea queen e2 was played so after queen e2 one more thing is that that uh, white is preparing to play in the center of the board okay that is the one thing over here so black played castles now what to do again your turn is there white to play which move will you play okay ekansh is saying a1 to h8 definitely a1 to h8 is the diagonal which uh, you should prefer, uh, prefer. Uh, shishupal kumar atul is an i am na no i am not at i am <laughs> but uh, definitely i am trying to become an i am or you can even say grandmaster but i am preparing let's see what happens in future the tournaments are not happening unless and until i play in the tournaments nothing is going to change <laughs> it all depends upon corona covid situation e4 c4 diganti saying e4 udhav udhav is saying c4 ekansh is saying e4 uh, okay possible moves definitely one of the possible moves well uh, i was mentioning about this thing earlier also you want to open up the position right but first of all we should bring the pieces in the game so that's why bitopan yes you are absolutely right that the rook should be played in the game first that rook d1 should come okay <laughs> thanks butter scotch thanks for being there so rook d1 okay rook d1 is the best move in the position because we are just simply bringing the piece in the game pehle rook ko lao pehle pieces ko lao party hone wali hai but party doston ke sath hoti hai without dost aap party karne jaoge to maza nahi aayega na sabko leke chalo in the game of chess whenever we are attacking the first rule is like bringing all the pieces or the all the friends for the party to mere hisab se attacking chess is like the party and dosto ke siwa party nahi ho sakti hai so that's why we should invite each and every one of them theek hai <laughs> thank you thank you very much for the best wishes 
Uh, illegals, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for the thing. So, Rook A D1 is played from the white side over here. Okay. So, white is uh, bringing a new piece in the game. That's what we should do. Okay. Uh, Subadi Dhara, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I hope that uh, you are enjoying the game also because this is a very beautiful game. Queen c7 and now when your pieces are ready, you go for the c4 move. Okay, Abhi c4 kela because we want to get this bishop in the game. So black played c into d4, e into d4 and now black thought like okay, I can play knight a5 and pressurize the pawn on c4. But Kasparov was a player who was a very dynamic player. He understood that what he needs in the position in order to attack. He was uh, never afraid of sacrificing the pieces or also pawns or something like that if he's going to get the initiative. So guys, tell me here something which is dynamic. Okay, a normal sa move if you want to play just support the pawn then obviously you can play rook c1 and support the pawn. But I will say like that is not a good idea. Okay, because black can uh, disturb the pawn structure with bishop into f3 also. Okay, we'll not go into the, because this is a passive move. Okay, this is definitely one of the passive moves in the position and okay, the uh, I will not go with rook c1. Try to find out a dynamic solution in this position. Deekho, chess mein na, do type ke advantages hote hai. Static advantages and uh, dynamic advantages. Dynamic advantages, if you don't pay attention to them quickly, then they will disappear. Okay, because they are in dynamic nature. It's like the uh, clock is ticking, the time is running, it will not be there forever. So you have to act very fast. Yeah, d5, exactly. d5 is the move. d5 should be played in this move. You are absolutely right. But d5 ke baad kya ho hai? The thing is that after d5, this bishop on b2, which was sleeping, okay, half sleeping, you can say, it will be coming in the game. Because the other bishop is already there on this diagonal, which is uh, pointing towards the h7. So d5 must be played in this position in order to open up the game, open up the position. Yes, Ekansh, you are right. Bitopan, you are also right. And Shubankar, c5 nahi d5 khelna chahiye theek hai uh, mahadev bishop into h7 can be played but uh, your pieces are not ready in the game first of all we should open up the diagonals and then only you should go for bishop into h7 dekho aap prematurely bishop into h7 maroge to aapke paas knight g5 check bhi nahi hai if you capture play this and the bishop, bishop, bishop is going to capture on g5 so you don't have the resources right now to sacrifice on h7 okay am i am good must take them theek hai so d5 was played, after d5, opponent played e into d5, Portish played e into d5, Kasparov played c into d5, and now bishop into d5 was played. If black doesn't capture on d5, obviously the bishop on b7 will be a stuck bishop. So he captures on d5, now what to play? Tactics ab aane wale hai game. Now the tactics are going to play, going to be there on the board. Which move will you play? See, now the position is more ripe, you can say the bishop is opened up, this bishop is there, knight is ready to jump, not on g5, but maybe knight e5 is come, and uh, there is indirect attack on d5, if the bishop is not there, the bishop on d5 is being attacked by the rook on d1. So, dekho kya hoga is position mein abhi. Thoda, ek mo nahi batao mujhe, aage ka bhi batao. First move, in, uh, like bishop into h7 is a very common move. Tell me what will you play after king h7. Thoda, ek mo aage. Yeah, Saurabh, you are right about this thing. Bishop into h7 and then bishop into d5. That is the right way to come in the game. This position, mein, bishop into g7, last card, if you sacrifice, jaoge, the, it will not be that great for you in this position. Because, okay, we will not capture over here first. But maybe we can just play bishop c4 and attack the queen over here. And uh, that is not cool for uh, white. So, white ke paas, pehle pieces aane chahiye. So, he plays rook d5. Abhi idea simple hai dekho. Idea is to just swing over the rook to h5 square and uh, the knight is also coming, the queen can come in this way. So there are multiple threats against the black skin. So Portish who was a very experienced player at that time and Kasparov was very young. Okay, Kasparov was just uh, I think 21 years old at that time or 20. He was born in uh, like, what was his age? I think he was just 21 years, 21 years old I think. Rook more active. Yes, Rook is coming in the game. That's the main thing. Rook d5. His opponents are like, okay, Rook h5 is coming, so king g8 is coming, so he is safe. 
but Kasparov came up with the next sacrifice in the game that is bishop captures g7 okay this is not the most accurate sacrifice this is a little bit different it is not like the opponent is stuck over there and you are going to like checkmate your opponent just with the help of the queen and the rook but the position is very dynamic it's uh, too much active like active position and you need to take this kind of decisions in your game okay so bishop g7 was played king captures on g7 and now it's time to put your pieces on good squares so they go white has sacrificed two pieces over here but what is his idea his idea is opponents defending pieces are not there on this side of the board so defending pieces matlab kya hai rook queen knight wo game ke thoda bahar hai theek hai so they are not in the game that's why he played a king in like bishop into g7 king into g7 now what to do chalo next move dhun ke dikhao mujhe let me know the next move let's see whether we can get it knight e5 yes exactly knight should come in the center of the board centralizing the knight is a very good idea see white is pissed down okay black ke paas if you count the number of pieces 1 2 3 4 5 pieces are there white is having four pieces but black king is completely exposed anmol is suggest saying like can you show the greek gift sacrifice yes anmol next next like like next show of uh, attacking chess part 2 will be about the greek gift sacrifice will be coming there okay but next one maybe tomorrow i'll show okay knight e5 knight e5 is more better because knight h4 kheloge to bishop se mar jayega this is one of the thing and uh, i agree that we want to play queen g4 and all but uh, can we play something more defensive in this position knight f5 is coming right so bishop into h4 may be a possibility here so maybe a possibility so another thing is is there any anything else f5 is not there knight into f5 will be captured i think we can stop all the checks with queen f4 move also this is also one of the moves which is a possibility in this position but okay knight h4 was also one of the possibility but knight e5 is more stronger we are stopping everything in this uh, thing okay we are stopping everything in this position the king is a little bit stuck white pieces are there okay so after knight e5 he played rook d8 attacking the rook over here now he brings the queen in the game with queen g4 check king hides on f8 square and now what to do another good move by kasparov needs to be played here yeah queen g4 leads to a mate uh, i think we need to maybe rook f8 was an, another idea let's see we'll go for this thing and if i play rook h8 this might be one of the good moves here rook can come on h8 i think if queen g4 is played then the king will go to f8 square and uh, rook is pointing towards here queen is also pointing towards h2 and there is no time for knight f5 or something like that the queen h2 is coming so knight needs to defend maybe knight f3 is one of the ideas and black will be fine i think so knight h4 is not that much good i hope after rook h8 you have got it okay knight e5 rook fd8 queen g4 king f8 now what to do queen f5 okay yes queen f5 was played by kasparov because constantly we need to attack i know that rook into d8 was one of the possibilities in this position but uh, if you go for rook into f8 then the pieces are getting exchanged <laughs> yeah so queen f5 now the queen is going to capture on f7 square so f6 it was played now what to do here actually uh, in the game it was a double edged game anything could have happened but here kasparov was pressurizing his opponent constantly and once uh, you are under pressure and your opponent has sacrificed two pieces towards your king side then uh, it's like intimidating your opponent right your opponent is too much in pressure and it's a psychological game dekho chess is not played only through the calculation chess is also a lot of about psychology aap game jab khelte ho you must have understood this thing also or felt this thing that pressure aata hai aapke upar you are not able to get the correct moves when your opponent is attacking so all these psychological things matter a lot and when you are a very uh, old player like potish was kind of not very old but he was uh, already a very uh, established player and a young player comes into the scene kasparov comes and he is giving this kind of sacrifices then it's not at all easy to uh fade off that sacrifices or that attack okay 
Shriyan Sinha. Yes, good to see you. Knight g6 is uh, one of the best moves in this position, definitely. But Kasparov went for knight d7 move. Okay? He played knight d7. Knight g6 was also a good idea. Definitely one of the good ideas in this position. So knight d7. Yeah, psychology matters a lot. Knight d7 was played. His opponent captured. Rook into d7. Queen c5 was played. Now the queen is being attacked. So what to do? Will you exchange the queens or will you play your queen somewhere else? Where will you play your queen? Are you going to exchange the queens? See, Kaspara is attacking, right? So one simple rule of attack is like whenever you are attacking, we should not exchange the pieces. We should not go for the exchanges. We should try to keep the pieces on the board. So exchanging the queens is like the out of the question. Like it's not even in the options for us. Right? Yeah, queen needs to be saved in this position. And he went on to play. Uh, yeah, no exchange. No, not at all. Exchange is not a good idea. He played queen at seven. Okay. Yeah, pe queen h3 was also one of the ideas. Just keeping the attacking possibilities here. Uh, because the thing is that if let's suppose the queen is moving somewhere else. Then the possibility of rook e7, king e7 and uh, queen can capture over here. When the queen b5 is a blunder over ho gai. So rook into e7 is also one of the ideas. Or we can even play queen h8 check. King will come here again check and the queen and the rook both will be capturing on e7. Okay. This is also one of the things which is possible in the position. So queen h3 was an idea. But he played queen h7. Again he is threatening here. The queen cannot go anywhere. Now his opponent played rook to c7. Because he needs to defend the position. Okay. So now he goes for queen h8 check. King goes to f7 square. Now what to do? Will you exchange the rooks? Or will you play something else? Guys, uh, if you are new here, don't forget to like the stream. Okay. Your support is very valuable. Because we will be having streams every single day from uh, today. But uh, we will be trying. I will be trying to share my knowledge and my love for chess with all of you so you can come over here and you can definitely get something back with you okay about chess <laughs> that will be my no action yes ek chota sa rule yaad rakho whenever we are attacking opponent be active hai aap bhi active ho attack kar rahe ho to exchange mat karo okay no exchanges so here rook d3 was played by kasparov now he is ready to swing over the rook from the other side he is bringing the rook. Rook d1 kiloge anmol. Maybe if you are going for this rook, then rooks will be action. No, we don't want to action the rooks. Queen e8 digant. Maybe it's not good. King will just capture. That was not a good idea. So rook should be saved. So opponent thought like, okay, I'll bring the rook in the game. And as we know that our last piece in the game is not there. So which piece is not there in the game and what you should do? So the last decision, which is very important. Uske baad game mein kaafi change ho gaya and uh, white got a very favorable position. Let's see. Which move will you play? Hello, last piece. Rook f d1. Exactly. We should bring our last piece in the game. Don't forget about this thing. Okay. Rook f d1 is better. Rook c1. Maybe you can play over this move. But uh, it's always better to double the rooks. Rook ko double karna jada achcha rehta hai. Because when you double the rooks, unka power badhta hai. Okay. This will help you more. If you play rook f d1. It will double the rooks power. Okay. So now after... Uh, here bishop d6 was one of the ideas from the black side which could have been played rook d5 and uh, the game will be carried on like with interesting play definitely it will be carried on rook d6 is the idea mar diya to then queen h7 king moves and then uh, queen into c7 will be played so this was one of the ideas in the position and uh, one more thing is also there that if you play rook to c1 in this position then I think queen into uh, queen g5 is also there. But one more, one more thing is like, jab bhi aap rook leke jao ge, kahi bhi. So queen can capture over here. Knight can came, come to e5 square any time. So rook c1 doesn't make that much sense. Okay, knight ko pin kar rahe ho, but not for longer time. Okay. So rook d1 was played. And after rook d1, he played knight e5. And now he plays queen h7 check. 
किंग कैन गो टू ई सिक्स स्क्वायर ई एट पे जाओगे तो मुझे बताओ क्या करोगे लेट सी हाउ मच शार्प यू आर देयर इन टैक्टिक्स वॉट विल यू प्ले रुकी वन प्रॉब्लम इज लाइक इट्स नॉट हेल्पिंग यू इन द गेम नो रुकी वन मीन्स यू आर नॉट इवन डबलिंग द रूक्स सो वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ जस्ट प्लेइंग रुकी वन इट शुड हेल्प यू इन द गेम चलो टैक्टिक्स दिखाओ मुझे इफ किंग एट इज प्लेड विच वॉज नॉट प्लेड इन द गेम इन द गेम किंग ई सिक्स वॉज प्लेड बट किंग एट विल लीड टू क्वीन जी सिक्स रुक डी एट या क्वीन जी सिक्स रुक डी एट इज अ वेरी गुड आइडिया इलिगंस एंड हियर क्वीन जी एट बिशप प्रफेड टू डी एट येस दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द आइडियाज इन द पोजिशन सो आई विल आई विल प्रिफर क्वीन जी एट इन दिस पोजिशन ठीक है क्योंकि क्वीन जी सिक्स इफ यू प्ले देन नाइट इज गोइंग टू कैप्चर ऑन जी सिक्स ठीक है तो ये नहीं चल रहा है तो क्वीन जी सिक्स खेलो बिशप प्रफेड इज द ओनली आइडिया एंड नाउ यू कैन प्ले रुक टू डी एट and if king e7 then we have this queen into f8 king yahan pe aayega to okay this uh, should lead to a checkmate ye ye and king if comes here then we can capture over here this and okay this is winning like you have queen up and it should be winning for you so guys uh, whoever said queen g8 how many people said queen g8 let me check ekansh said then chaitanya said then uh, elegant said anmol ekansh again then saurabh body mind link yes bitopan digan chaitanya ameya okay guys uh, you are awesome <laughs> you are awesome queen g6 uh, definitely i covered that thing queen g6 was a mistake because knight was capturing so in the game king g6 was played ab batao kaise karoge how will you finish off your opponent now last question of the game okay last question <laughs> चलो द फाइनल क्वेश्चन वॉट विल यू डू अबाउट द किंग ऑन ई सिक्स वी हैव ड्रैग द किंग इन द सेंटर ऑफ द बोर्ड गाइज ओके आफ्टर ड्रैगिंग द किंग इन द सेंटर ऑफ द बोर्ड नाउ इट्स योर टाइम फॉर चेक मेटिंग हिम ये क्वीन जी एट इज द बेस्ट मूव क्वीन जी एट के बाद इफ नाइट एफ सेवन इज प्लेड विच वॉज द बेस्ट मूव आई विल से इन द बोर्ड ऑन द बोर्ड but still we have this h pawn which will be coming up on the board very soon so that was uh, according to me was the best chance from the black side to defend the position okay yahan pe maybe rook e3 i will play and uh, if the king moves anywhere in this position i can capture on uh, f7 and uh, exchange of position and that should be win or even queen h7 just uh, trying to checkmate here and then again rook g3 check king will be coming here then uh, what can we play I think the simplest way is to just play queen h4, maybe king f7 and queen g4. King will come here, and uh, rook e3 is also one of the ideas. Okay, this position should be winning. We are getting the queen for sure. Okay, we are getting the queen for sure. Or rook e1, king will come to d5 and queen e6 is a check. King will come over here, and now queen e4 is a check and mate. It was a little bit complicated check mate, but uh, okay when. Uh, three my major pieces are there around your king obviously you are going to get checkmated okay there is no doubt about it so king f5 was uh, played in the game which was uh, more challenging kyunki abhi kya hai king f5 ke baad there is no rook f3 check because knight is there so here kasparov came up with the last with the last uh, brilliant move you can say that was g4 check and now if we capture knight into g4 obviously we have this rook f3 check because the knight is no longer supporting the f3 square and if king goes anywhere then we can just simply capture queen into g4 king is in the center and it should lead to a check and mate okay it should lead to a check and mate so king f4 was uh, played over here and now he plays rook d4 check king f3 and now the final move chalo final move guys thank you very much for making it 64 likes i love this number because uh, that's the representation of a chess board i hope that uh, you will keep supporting the stream and you will make it 100 likes also very soon okay so let's tell the last move of the game which uh, forced his opponent to resign dekhte hai aapko aata hai ki nahi fight to play play the decisive move
yes adi we will be taking your question we'll go going back queen b3 anshul yes right queen b3 digant you are also right uh queen g8 followed by rook d8 no 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 santosh i think you are looking at the stream very back yes adi uh, adi 05 i'm going to answer your question after this queen b3 absolutely Ega, uh, elegance bitopan ekash mahadev yes guys you are right queen b3 is the best move because this position may a chance to queen c3 ka, but see queen c3 will not be working because we have this uh, check or we have this check also which we can play and uh, we will be uh, queen up in that position okay we will be just queen up in that position uh, capture capture and uh, if he needs to capture then we can capture and okay we are winning the game so they did not continue after uh, queen b3 it was just uh, game over it was just game over after that okay, we are going to get the queen so a question aap mujhe bahut der se uh, adi was asking me what will happen if uh, where was the question rook d1 ke baad knight b2 was the question was asked to me so here if knight b2 comes this looks like a fork is there but uh, the fork is not useful for you we can still play queen h7 which was played in the game up to this bar knight e5 tha game mein to thoda bahut protection ho raha tha but after queen h7 the king is not having any protection king if you go here then again queen g8 check king goes here then rook d8 uh, is a check king comes here then queen into f8 is there and uh, if you play king e6 then it is much more uh, open up opened up position and uh, queen g8 is there trying to bring the king more in the game and you can see that in the game the main difference was like after this at least the knight was there on e5 but abhi knight b2 pe rahega to fir it's just a check and made very soon i hope that uh, you enjoyed this game this was a little bit different uh, last curse double bishop sacrifice you can say Kasparov sacrificed two pieces on h7 and g7 both the bishops were sacrificed but but in a like completely dif different circumstances there was no direct checkmate in this position as we looked at in the previous games in miles and laskers game but there was cons consistent attack was there okay <laughs> yeah consistent attack was see guys that position is uh end position is winning in many ways okay it's just about your choice i hope that you enjoyed today's games and uh I will be putting timestamps also so whenever you go back uh, if you want to look at these games you can definitely look at these games after the stream also okay <laughs> well uh, I would love to read any chess channel okay <laughs> and uh, I'll check out his channel your friends Rahul I'll check out your friends channel and if I really like it, then we will definitely raid him also. Okay. I, I, I need to check his channel. I don't know his channel. So tomorrow we will be meeting guys. Tomorrow we will be meeting and uh, we will be having lots of fun tomorrow also. Tomorrow's topic I will tell you now only. Tomorrow's topic will be Greek gift sacrifice. Okay. If you have to know about Greek gift sacrifice, we will be having a lot of fun. We will be having a the stream around 9 or 9 30 i'll publish it tomorrow morning so be there tomorrow also and thanks for joining today i hope that you enjoyed also you learned something so taking back something so okay thanks for being there keep uh, showering love and support to my channel okay we'll be more uh, uh, regular now thank you thank you very much see you then <laughs> good night each and everyone and love you all Tomorrow's time I'll uh, publish, but I will be coming after 9 o'clock only, most probably. So I'll publish it whenever it's possible for me. So I'll publish it tomorrow morning. Okay. Chalo then. See you then. Bye-bye.